Did you see how I got launched? Whew. Just want to do tree strats, my man. Uh, do you want the game summed up for you, or do you want me to sum up the speedrun for you? Um... You can abuse physics to, uh, launch yourself up on any slope, and... Later in the game, there's a glitch that will allow us to basically warp around anywhere we want to. And then a lot of swinging this fucking stick. supposed to be dead in this water, but the slash there actually keeps me from dying. And then I'm not supposed to get on top of that, but let's see if we can do it anyway. Then I just hit the end of level trigger. Boom, baby! Hell yeah, CFB! What kind of cookies? Because I gotta tell you, a lot of people don't care for oatmeal, but I fucks with oatmeal. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, Edder, you don't? Especially when you microwave it nice and warm. Hmm. That's what's up. <laughs> You're not wrong, Shinrai. There's another in trigger for an unexpected party? What's the other trigger? Yeah, a lot of these tricks became more consistent between a combination of uh, Cricks giving me some really helpful advice and um, switching to GameCube version. Well, there's no going back. Oh, how will I ever get back to the dwarves? Suppose if I follow the edge of this mountain, I'll find my way to their trail.
Long jump into the cutscene trigger. More like long jump into my heart. You're beautiful, Bilbo. I love you. And I don't care what Quantum says, this green cape is wonderful. I think it's very stylish, and I actually want one just like it. I want a green cape like this. Yeah, I'll say it. I'll, I'd wear a cape like this. That cape is baller. Thank you, stone giants! You've made my escape for me! You get me a cape like that, Saint, I'll I'll wear it. Real talk. I'll wear pretty much anything as long as it's not a Jar Jar mask, and that's that one's not negoti non negotiable. Also, I don't think they'll let you wear masks anymore, so never mind. Why no masks? It's probably a safety concern. <laughs> yeah, Pepsi Man gets away with it. I think technically I like Pepsi the Man, movies. the Pepsi Man suit does break the rules, but I think they let Frozen get away with it. Well, Pepsi Man suit is pretty much a Green Man suit, but I I think the rules are no masks. Whether or not they necessarily enforce that at all times, I don't know, but I think there is a rule about no masks cuz I know that some people, some furries have gotten in trouble with it, or had issues with it um for their first suit cuz they couldn't wear a mask. And I think it's the mask portion of it that is why they were rejected. Masks illegal in public. Um, I don't know of any laws against wearing masks in public. Thank the elves for this glowing blade. Is that true? Okay. Yeah, I just I know nothing about that. These webs look thick. I hope my sword can cut them.
What? How did I how did I fall there? I don't even understand how that happened. Oh, yeah, I guess I do some out-of-bounds, too, so that happened. I didn't think he was going to grab the chain there. This run gets to barrels. I really need, just need to play it safer on barrels. I don't know how the hell I keep... I can't keep getting away with it. I can't keep getting away with playing these really risky barrels and either resetting or... I don't know, getting away with murder. If I just play a really conservative barrels, we should be fine. Don't fall. Alright. Clean enough. That and picking fights with stone giants, which is not smart. Since they throw rocks the size of his whole body. That's the price of freedom, man. Sometimes you get a gun pointed in your face. I don't know. Sloppy. Really? sure if security is going to be different. I kind of hope it does because um, it's not been ideal historically in reality, but um, people have opinions and they're mostly stupid ones, so I'm not, count I'm not counting on anything changing.
how. I don't I don't know how I fell off there. I've never fallen off there. Hey, Glacium. Yeah, but the problem is, is that this level is a stealth mission, and um, the elves' patrols are on kind of a global timer. And when I die, that timer does not fix itself in the way that you would want it to. So I actually have no idea where the elves are going to be. Minions of the necromancer? No, not evil. I've got to figure out a safer way to do that back jump. Like, I'm I'm taking the world's biggest gamble, long jumping back to that rope every single time. Making the dwarvish racket. The dwarvish racket. There's no one there. Was that the wind? game does like a really subtle um, heartbeat on the controller's um, rumble while you have the ring on and it's actually a really nice touch. I usually don't like any rumble on controllers but this one's really nice. It's just it's a very subtle sort of urgency. Can you get away from the ladder man? You're just really harsh on my vibe. I'm gonna use the ring this time. I've been trying not to use the ring in here just because it does save just a little bit, but I'm tired of getting my, my ass bit. Okay, why do they still spot me so easily? Can I use the web potion while I have the ring active? Yeah. 
Is someone there? It's not. Yeah, the ring is very different in The Hobbit. I don't know if you're familiar with The Hobbit, but in The Hobbit, the ring is not this like dark, dark tool of the uh, of Sauron. It's just like a magic toy. It has no real story purpose in The Hobbit. What do you mean by time jumping? Do you mean jumping so that you don't hear your own footsteps? Hey Albert, uh, yeah, I ordered one of those. I kind of want to do this save list because I did practice a whole bunch last night and I didn't miss the long jump into the water once, but I, I worry that nerves will get to me. I got long jump glitch. I didn't get long jump glitch one time last night, but I got long jump glitch this time. Should've saved. I'm gonna save this time, and here's my solemn promise to you, is that I'm gonna save and then I won't get long jump glitch. My solemn vow. Well, what do I get out of it, Saint? No, I'm not taking you up on that. That's garbage. God, I hate this game so much. I don't get 
thief glitch. I got thief glitched. <laughs> oh, I mean, we know why it happens. I know exactly why that happened, but it, it shouldn't have happened. He shouldn't have turned around the platform. It's fine. I'm gonna continue this run as best as I can. A warm welcome strikes again. This level, man. This level was devised by Satan. I might have just lost it there. I got antsy. This is the warehouse. Time to see what's inside. No, the hobbit's breaking me. Oh, I didn't lose it. Okay. Just think about how fucking ahead this run would be if I hadn't messed up a warm welcome for the billionth time. Like, look at this. I'm... I, I, I basically broke even on that split despite losing the whole stage one time and then losing to Thief Glitch a second time. Nice. Nice. Oh, come on! <laughs> I did that exact thing in my last run.
My favorite part about this level is when I play poorly. Well, sure as shit ain't me. I'm definitely not the most consistent at gathering. I'll, let me let me set the record straight on that bad boy. I don't find gathering to be hard anymore. I've actually practiced enough now that I've figured out all the parts I was messing up. But still, I managed to mess it up in runs. my life, man. I'm too close to the edge. Stop being so close to the edge, moron. Wow, they just went in on him. Do you see his health bar? It went from like pretty much full to pretty much fucked. Jeezy crazy. Poor Corwin, it looks like he's toughing it out though, I mean... He's managed to hold him off for this long. Alright. 
How much time would you say I lost on a warm welcome? Maybe three minutes? Two and a half? Jeez. I think my favorite thing about a warm welcome is the part where it never goes well. I really like that part. Yep, I got to I got to play credits in in a PB, sorry. Bjorn crushed Bolg, the Goblin King. The goblins were dismayed, but not defeated. Suddenly, Bilbo saw the eagles. I always highlight but credits. A stone struck his head, and he saw no more. The battle raged around him, a battle of five armies. The goblins were driven from the lonely mountain, but Thordine, king under the mountain... That's correct, died. Albert. It came out right between Bilbo the first and the eagles. second movie, but they didn't have movie license rights, they had book license rights, so they just said, fuck it, we'll make The Hobbit, but then they made Lord of the Rings anyway. They made they made a Fellowship of the Ring game that was based on the books, not the movie. And that game's pretty legit, too. Men, elves, and dwarves had a new chance to unite against future dangers. Bilbo bade farewell to his friends, took only two small chests of gold, and began his journey home. He had many hardships and adventures before he got back, but that's another story. What's Amazon doing? I don't. I didn't know. I mean, you said of course, but I. I don't know that. A new Lord of the Rings show. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do more runs. Explore new storylines preceding the Fellowship of the Ring. The hobbits weren't enough. What is the name of the guy who who I'm confusing John Rith, Riss Davies with? John Riss Davies played Gimli, but what's the name of the guy who was in Gormenghast? Jonathan Riss Myers. Oh. Okay. Well, now I see how I could make that mistake. No, world record is 28.
Is there in-game time after the credits? No, and even if there was, it would never live up to uh, Star Wars Episode One's credits. Or uh, in-game time at the end. Okay, we once again had a run that we would describe as not particularly great, so there's still time to be saved. What does episode one in-game time give? It gives an aneurysm. I mean, I can find the tweet if you want to see it. Hold on. find that tweet that had the picture of the in-game time in it. They just don't know how to do basic math. Okay, here. I think I found it. There you go. Try to make sense of this bullshit. I'm not sure what you expect my response to that to be, Crix, but that would actually be quite useful to me. Alright, these... These... These credits are getting kind of extra. Alright, you gotta... You gotta move it the fuck along. I got... I... Because I've got my... i got my standards. Like, I feel strongly about including the credits in the... In the highlight, but Jesus Christ. This is the future that liberals want. <sighs> yeah, the minutes are base 60 and the seconds are base 10. That, I mean, that's, that's basically how it ends up working. Oh my god, I forgot this is the part of the credits where they thanked all of their families. God 